<coughs> hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your boot logo on your jailbroken iPod Touch second generation. And this is without re jailbreaking. There is no loss of files here. The only thing you're doing is changing the boot logo. So, I'll show you the boot logo I have now. And after these short few steps, you'll be on your way to having your own custom boot logo. Alright, so what you do is first you have to download uh, the links I'll have in the description. They'll be for QuickVium and for the original firmware 2.2.1. And you also obviously have to have iTunes. Okay, now what you do is you download QuickVium and install it. And if you have Windows Vista, you have to have you have to run it as administrator. And also, you also have to have LibUSB installed, but I'm assuming you've already jailbroken in your iPod, so you have to have that for that as well. Okay, what you do is go to Jailbreak iPod, and then here it'll tell you it doesn't have the firmware, so just browse. And as you can tell before, I have mine on the desktop. And just give it a little bit to copy it over. Alright, perfect. Now it's just going to click next. And if you want installer, this is for if you're jailbreaking for the first time. You can add installer if you want. Uh, personally, for me, it doesn't have any use, but other people might want it in there. If you just want to change the boot logo, click already jailbroken, use custom logos, and then put change. Now you want to choose a recovery logo and you have a few options here I'll go with the windows you can also change the boot logo this is the one I have um, I think Linux pineapple I'll just go with Linux alright now create firmware and this should not take too long. like I said before this isn't going to delete any files you're not gonna erase your jailbreak this is just changing the boot logo everything you have on there will still be there Okay, it's done. Now, on your desktop, you should have a file called custom nor the IPSW. What you do now, if you haven't done so already, is plug in your iPod Touch. Okay. Now just click next. Okay guys, so now your iPod Touch should be in recovery mode and now and also plugged into iTunes. So if it doesn't if iTunes doesn't come up, just double click on it and uh, just restore from NOR file. As shown here. Okay, so you should get a screen like this one. Now, what you do is hold Shift. Oh, this is gonna be kind of tough to do. Uh, you hold Shift and you click Restore, and you should get a window. Explorer window here. Now, just navigate to where you have your custom NOR file. Click open, and there we go. It should not take too long, guys. There you go. It's booting up again. 
Now I accidentally I accidentally uh, clicked on the file I had before but it would be the same thing for you guys you can see on iTunes and your iPod should be restoring Alright guys, so you know what, uh, I'll just be back when this is done restoring, it shouldn't take that long, but I don't want to take up too much time. Oh, look, never mind, there it is. And now it's booting up. And you're back in iTunes. And just let me show you, after this boots up, let me show you that you do not lose any files in any way. Alright guys, so to show you that it's fully booted up and you didn't lose I didn't lose any information. See the theme is still there. And let me put this in. Alright. As you can see, the theme is still there. Go into music, everything is still there. Alright, so that concludes this video. And uh, just remember rate, comment, and subscribe.